I've already put a block on this because I know how sore the foot is, so regardless of the problem, I know these blocks will take the pressure off the foot and that'll help her alone. This is the Hoof GP. So like I said in the intro, we have put blocks straight onto this cow's foot because she is in a serious amount of pain. She's the lamest cow in this farm by a mile. And I can see she's got a deep infection. I don't know how deep in that infection is, but I do know it goes all the way up into the joints in the ankle. But to be honest, I'm not sure how far it descends. So we might see an abscess, we might not see an abscess. I'm kind of hoping we do because that will give her a release and an immediate injection of pain relief. All of this is inflamed now. But to be honest, it feels like it's granulated tissue, which means there's no abscess in there. It's just inflamed skin. First off, because the anatomy of this hoof has changed, I crack out the knife to get a feel for what the hoof horn feels like. And it feels fairly stable and sturdy. So out comes the grinder and we shave it back to the length and height that it should be. These are predetermined measurements. The hoof horn should measure around 75 to 80 millimeters along the front wall. That's the one that's leaning on the paddle. Then it's time for the knife to come out and pair around about that ulcer site. That's not the difference in hardness. I'm not just tapping away on her foot for no good reason. That dull sound when the knife blade hits the heel of her foot lets me know there is a cavity in there. And just look at what it's full of. You see, the problem in situations like this is I'm desperately not wanting to cut into any live tissue, but if there is an infection, I want that out by removing the dead tissue, which is the hoof horn. Hoof horn is all dead, and in this case, there is an abscess under there, clearly. I scratch away at the surface of the hoof horn to break through to the corium beneath. I don't want to cut into the corium, but I do want to penetrate that pocket. And just like that, we do indeed break through to the pocket of infection. And just look at that spraying out. Yes, I am putting pressure on her heel, but make no doubt about it. This is a massive relief for this cow. I'm certain there's more infection in there that could do it with being released, but the paddle is in the way and hindering process. So we move it out of the way. And look, we're basically milking her food. So as you can see, yes, there is a little bit of claret showing, obviously but there was an infection. We've removed a little bit of the hoof horn from over the lesion and that's allowed this pocket of infection to be released. The pain relief this cow will get from this is immense. The pressure that was on that foot was unreal. It was so tight and so pressurized actually that I wasn't sure if it was an abscess or whether it was skin underneath that had granulated because it felt so hard, which lets you know the pressure. If you look at the difference now, you can see this part of the heel has gone down. If we compare it to before, when the blocks were first put on, but we hadn't released that, you can see a big difference in the heel, or at least I can. All we do now is recommend that the vet sees this because it's likely this infection will be ongoing. The blocks and relieving that pressure will be a massive, massive, massive positive influence on this cow but she won't truly get over it without a little bit of vet intervention. And I'm pretty certain that'll get done, so this cow should be completely fine. All it remains for us to do is dress it with iodine and let her rip. This is not a lesion we're gonna wrap because we want any infection to continue to come out. And if we wrapped it, obviously that would hinder the infection from being able to flow out. As it is, she's good to go. That is a seriously sore foot, but it will be less sore than it was five minutes ago. And that is my job as a hoof trimmer, to functionally trim these beautiful cows, to make them more comfortable than they were before they came into the crush. And sometimes I won't completely fix that. Sometimes they will need vet intervention. And in this case, she will. So maybe give Dr. Paul 
a call. Ah, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyway, on that note, that's everything from Cow555 and everything from the Hoof GP. Make sure you've subscribed and liked this video. I know it's weird though, isn't it, when I ask you to like a video like this? Because I kind of don't like it, but I like the fact that we can show people how to look after their cows better. Like the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!